Hey guys, Mika here, and um, some more better ukulele. I'm sure you guys can recognize it off the bat. It's the coveted more better tenor size curly claw uh, ukulele. For those of you who don't know or aren't familiar with more better ukuleles, um, it's pretty much the cream of the crop. It's it's one of the most sought after, one of the most popular, one of the most best sound i mean every single checkbox you can think that you're trying to find in a excellent ukulele um chuck moore has made it and he's created this ukulele and it's always a pleasure to be able to play one it's i'm so privileged to be able to hold these instruments play multiples of them and this one can be yours if you act quickly yeah but um again it's always a pleasure being able to play these because not only is the craftsmanship excellent the the beauty of this instrument is excellent the sound is excellent the playability is excellent i mean it's just this instrument has it all um the cool thing about this Morbetta is that usually Morbettas can be very decked out. It's almost like works of art. The thing is, this is one of the more plain ones, but to me, it's still a work of art because some, some can have crazy inlay details on the fretboard, on the headstock, some nice things going on the fretboard or on the body of the instrument. But for me, this is like a musician grade instrument because it's classically or it's beautiful in, in an essence because it's simple. There's nothing too much. There's no craziness going on. It's just a very clean, beautiful set of curly coil here on the front, sides, and back. Um, outlined very nicely. You can never go wrong with putting black ebony pairing with curly coil, especially when you have a darker curly coil. But it's just very simple, but very straightforward. But what's really cool is that the big green, dark, like emerald green rosette. Emerald green is one of my favorite colors. So anytime I see curly coal and green on ukulele, I get all excited. And then you put it on a more better ukulele, I get super, super excited. Um, but we have is um, the material or the wood in the, around the rosette is a maple burl wood and it's stained in that emerald green color. We also have a ebony binding around the inside of the sound hole. But again, this is just such a clean instrument. This instrument also has a side part with that black ebony um, binding as well as the green purfling. Um, around the side port. Um, we also have the green uh, fretboard dots or markers on the fretboard. And then we also have the fretboard markers on the side. Also along the fretboard, you can see that it has that the green, the emerald green purfling around the fretboard, around the headstock, just like that. And then even on top on the sides, on the perimeter of the, of the instrument itself, or on the fretboard itself. And then we have this uh, big green gecko or lizard here on the top with also the maple burl wood stained in my favorite color. Um, it's really, really nice. And then here on the back, we have um, maple, a maple neck, a uh, gloss, gloss finish with the planetary, Goto planetary um, tuners here in the black button. So really, really nice and clean instrument. I mean, it's a more better that we're talking about. It's always going to be clean. Um, this one is Again, it's my kind of instrument. As much as I like looking at super blinky instruments, it's like, wow, you know, you can hang it up on the wall. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's, you know, people come to your house and like, what is that artwork? But for me, like, I really appreciate the simplicity of this instrument, not only because it has my favorite color, but because it's just, it's not distracting. When you're a musician, you don't want to be kind of, you know, infatuated with your ukulele well with this one i'm infatuated with it but but not by things like maybe like you know having waterfalls or having anything like you know kind of dis busy designs in the fretboard it's just really clean it just has fret markers so um i can do what i want to do with this instrument so um that's pretty much it when it comes to the aesthetics but you know more better sounds if you want that classic hawaiian kind of song it's like what does it even what does that even mean hawaiian song when I think of a Hawaiian sound like ukulele, I think it's very warm. It's very lush. We're very warm, inviting, laid back kind of sound. But it has a bite to it. It has some brightness to it. And for me, um, more better this has a really crisp A string, and I really like that for me. It's super clean, super has a lot of clarity. Especially when you do vibratos. Even on the 15th fret, super clean, glass-like. Super, super clean. Note separation is excellent. I can hear every single note. Nice sustain. Again, it has that really nice, lush, warm, just really inviting, very soothing. Whether you're doing real simple.
or if you want to do some basic finger style. super clean just so inviting it's so fun to play and the way it's set up it's super easy to play so for those of you who might have you know arthritis in your hands or your left hand can, you know can't take a beating on the fretboard like my my left hand definitely can't take a beating on the fretboard but it gets sore after playing for a certain amount of time but you know when i play an ukulele like this it's just so easy so not only is it is the sound inviting the playability of this is inviting it, it, it lets you play for an hour or two hours and I think you'll be feeling just as good as when you picked up this beautiful instrument. So just an overall clean sounding musician grade instrument. I mean, any ukulele player that I know would say pretty much the same things about this. It's a more better, it plays awesome, it feels awesome, it looks awesome. You know, all of us would want to own a more better. So this is your chance. This is lovely. Here's a sound sample of this amazing instrument. You know, I got a little sidetracked because I started off with You Are My Sunshine, but then I remembered a uh, voice in my head. Um, uh, basically, whenever I play a Chuck Moore uh, instrument, uh, I know that Chuck really loves Hawaiian music when Hawaiian music is played on his instrument. So as soon as I kind of wrapped up with You Are My Sunshine, I, I switched into a very famous Hawaiian song by Kaylee E. Reichel called, um, um, uh, oh my gosh, Kavai Puna, no, not Kavai Puna, oh my gosh, Mauna Leo. <laughs> very uh, beautiful song. Um, so anytime that I privilege and I'm, I'm able to play a more better, more better ukulele, I'd love to um, pay tribute to Chuck and play what he loves hearing the most played on his instruments, which is Hawaiian music. So let's keep up that Hawaiian theme going with some shumming. 